Hi everyone, Paige Evans for Studio Calico here today to share one of my favorite techniques which is backing a die cut shape with pattern paper. So the first step was to turn this pie chart from the Project Life digital stamp into a cut file and then I die cut it from white cardstock. So for help on turning stamps into cut files I recommend the Cameo Basics class which is going on now. So I'm taking these papers from the Penny Arcade and add-ons. So that's the Fortune Teller, Skee Ball, and Spun Sugar. And I've taken the largest pie chart slice and I'm using it as a template to just cut the pattern paper about an eighth of an inch wider. And I'm doing that for all eight slices. And this works, this is basically how I do all of my backing of die cut shapes is I use the inner pieces and just cut right around them. I used to trace with a pencil but it took a lot longer to trace and then erase the pencil lines. So I found that just using the inner pieces and cutting them a little bit bigger um, makes it go fast. So I also like to create dimensions so I'm putting these foam squares all around the back of the die cut shape, peeling off the little square and sticking my pie slices onto the foam squares. And I'm just going in, you know, Roy G. Biv using pink, orange, yellow, green, and blues. And to hold everything in place, I'm just putting a little bit of tape. And there it is, so pretty and colorful. Um, I went with a couple of different backgrounds and ultimately I chose, re chose a white background but um, as I was filming, I was using this piece of Ashley Goldberg feather paper because I liked the gray background with a little bit of pattern. Ultimately, like I said, I thought it was a little too busy. But anyway, here I am just centering it visually in the center. I've chosen this adorable picture of my husband with our cute kids. He's walking them back to the car from a trip. And what I'm doing now is you're just watching my process. This is I was filming as as I as I was embellishing, and I like the color on color look to create texture. So I'm putting all of the green embellishments that I could find in the green section, all the yellow and the yellow, pink on pink, etc. This isn't the final placement, but I was just trying to find all of the things that I could from all of the Penny Arcade kits that would um, fill in these little pie chart slices. I printed the printables from Hello Forever by Studio Calico as well as the labels by Hello Forever for Studio Calico from this current Penny Arcade kit. I'm going to cut them out, give me some extra colors for embellishing. I love watching movies while I scrapbook, so FYI, I was watching Silver Lining Playbook while I was creating in between takes. <laughs> so I'm just adding more color. Love these buttons. Buttons are one of my favorite embellishments. I have every color from the Color Theory button collection because I think they just add the perfect finishing touch. I wanted to add that, didn't quite fit. So, moving on. I love these little washi circles. They perfectly coordinate with this layout, so I'm using three. I'm using a pink one, yellow, and green. Oh, and orange. That makes four. <laughs> Alright, so here's where I decided I want a white background. So now my pie chart is really just going to pop off the page and the pie chart becomes the main focus. I stitched 
with my sewing machine three circles around to create a texture and also keep your eyes from wandering off the page. Stamping the date of the photo because I like to put my layouts away chronologically. Didn't stamp all the way so I'm using my pen to fill it in. So that's a neat trick. If it doesn't work all the way. Just use a pen. And I'm writing a little bit of journaling. Just a fun little caption to go along with the photo. I feel like the dark blue section was a little sparse, so I did, this isn't the one the piece I added, but I just wanted to show you what I did is I painted one of the wood veneer numbers, well in this case a letter, with some Mr. Hueys and let it dry. So I painted a three because there's three people in the photo and I'm adding that. So that's a fun way to customize embellishments. And the last step is to drop some matching colors of Mr. Huey's just to create a final visual triangle of doing some yellow, blue, and pink. And let it dry and the layout is all finished. So I hope you have enjoyed learning how to back die cuts and I will see you next time.